Welcome to the basic agar video. Today I'm going to make some smoked baked beans. Now I've done these canned baked beans on the egg before just to heat them up and that extra smoke flavor added a lot to them. But I'm going to go a little beyond that today by adding some sauteed onions and peppers and some heat from the Honey Hog Hot Rub from the good people at Meat Church. I'm going to start by dicing the peppers and onions and then I'm going to saute them in a pan with, with some olive oil and I'm using an all-clad pan so that it can go completely inside the egg. Of course you could do that on the stove top if you preferred. Alright, so I've got these sautéing on the eggs. We'll just let these go until they get a little softened up and we'll be ready to put them in the beans. In order to incorporate the smoke flavors, you want to increase the surface area of the cook. I find these aluminum pans work well for this. I'll add two 28 ounce cans of Bush Original Baked Beans. I'm going to add in the peppers and the onions that I sauteed on the egg. Next I'll add a good sprinkle of the Honey Hog Hot Barbecue Rub from Meat Church. Now this is a dish that you can adjust to taste as it smokes. If you want it hotter you can add more rub and if you've overdone it and it's a little bit too hot you can always dial it back with a little bit of brown sugar. Mix this up a little bit and it'll be ready to go on the egg. The beans are going on the egg using the plate setter for an indirect cook. I'll come back and stir these every 30 minutes. I typically smoke these for one and a half to two hours. You could go longer, but I think they will have absorbed most of that smoke flavor in the first hour or two. All right, the smoked baked beans are done here. They've been on the egg a little over two hours at around 325. Uh, they I've been turning them every 30 minutes and they tasted pretty good after an hour and a half. I left them on for another half hour to get a little, a little extra smoky. But that's all there is to it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.